Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meghla, SAP coordinator from Department of Genetic Engineering. I am here to brief about the semester abroad program, the benefits of SAP and also would like to share some videos of our students who have undergone SAP during their B.Tech and M.Tech program. Semester abroad program is one such program of SRMIST is recognized across the globe by providing its students a unique international exposure and global opportunities to enhance their skills by working with eminent professors of the universities and accelerate their personal and career growth in India and overseas. Also, it provides an opportunity to work in cross-cultural and multinational environment. We are proud to say that about 302 students have availed SAP from our department and this would not be possible without our faculty members who made their effort in making the collaboration successful. Also, we believe that the SAP will add new dimension to our students' research interest and develop expertise in various techniques which in turn will empower them with self-confidence and also become an independent researchers. Here comes few videos of our sapiens who have shared how SRE and department have helped to pursue the SAP program and their research experience through SAP. Hello everyone, I'm Pritu Sagra, an alumna of Department of Genetic Engineering, SR Minister of Science and Technology. I completed my Bachelor of Technology and Master of Technology in the Department of Genetic Engineering and I am currently pursuing doctoral research in the Division of Infectious Disease and Global Medicine at University of Florida. My journey to this position right now started from the Department of Genetic Engineering, especially through a program called as Semester Abroad Program, which is called as SAP. So I applied for SAP during my final year of my bachelor's degree and I got into Loma Linda University which is in California through the guidance of Dr. Iappen for whom I'm always grateful for, for opening such an avenue for me. So I applied there and I worked there for like seven months which was a great research experience that any students could get and I would say that I got this opportunity only through the Department of Genetic Engineering. I still remember my SAP mentor at that time mentioning the in-depth knowledge that I had which I culminated through the bachelor's program in the department of genetic engineering. So I came back again and applied for the masters in the department of genetic engineering and this time I went for a year program of SAP to the University of Florida where I'm currently pursuing my PhD. So going for a SAP for a year was not an easy process and I would like to thank Dr. Ramya who was the SAP coordinator and also Dr. Megla who was also another SAP coordinator and my then class in charge who helped me through the SAP process. I had to complete uh, the third semester courses before I left to the University of Florida. So I'd like to thank Dr. Shivaraman Krishnan, uh, Dr. Manoj Kumar and Dr. Kiran Kumar who are my faculties in charge for the courses at that time and they stood by me with patience and they conducted all the exams on time so that they could, I could leave for the uh, SAP program. And I would also like to thank all the faculties uh, who encouraged me to take up this new path. I would say that one of the important reasons for me to achieve the dream is due to the curriculum of the Department of Genetic Engineering. They are designed in such a way that they cover all the fundamental and in-depth concept that a student would get both practically and theoretically. Uh, and during this process of my SAP program, I applied for PhD and one of the integral part of the application uh, was the recommendation. So one of my recommendation was from Dr. Iappen. Uh, he sent the recommendation immediately which helped me to um, apply for the application on time. I would also like to say that um, I would 100% say that um, the, the all the alumni would accept the fact that the boon to the department and the students are the faculties. So they are very friendly, very encouraging and also very easily approachable which is all a student need to achieve their dream. And I would say that this is one of the reasons that I was able to achieve my dream. I would like to thank all the faculties who had helped me and encouraged me to kickstart my dream. And I would also recommend all the students to take up the semester abroad program, which is a great research uh, program abroad. Thank you. 
Hi everyone, I'm Shruti Sanjita. I'm an alumna of SRM University. I did my Master of Technology in Genetic Engineering and graduated in 2020. I'm currently a PhD student at Tulane University School of Medicine in New Orleans in the United States of America. I got this amazing opportunity to do my semester abroad program at Tulane University during the final semester of my MTech, which paved way for me to be accepted into their PhD program. I'd like to convey my profound gratitude to my project guide, Dr. R. Satish, who had a collaboration with the Structural and Cellular Biology Department of Tulane University, and my department HOD, Dr. M. Parani, who provided us with encouragement and permitted us to undergo semester abroad program during our MTech, and the relentless unending efforts taken by Dr. J. Megla, who is our class in charge for the batch of 2018 to 2020, and Dr. M. Ramya, who along with Dr. J. Megla was the SAP coordinator because of whose efforts all of us were able to go uh, for a semester abroad program to different countries all over the world in 2020. Another reason why I got accepted into Tulane University's PhD program was because I had two publications and that was possible only because of SRM University's MTech curriculum and the amazing lab facilities at the Department of Genetic Engineering. Having a publication at high impact journals like the International Journal of Biological Macromolecules and EMIDDT provided an edge to my profile and improved it greatly. And this is an important factor which led me to be accepted into Tulane University's PhD program. I am eternally grateful to SRM University and the Department of Genetic Engineering for making sure that I achieved this and for helping me and providing me constant encouragement and support throughout my life. Thank you so much. I would urge all of you to make use of this amazing opportunity provided to you by our department and come up in life. Thank you. Hello, I'm Akilan. I'm currently pursuing a master's in genetic engineering in SRM Institute of Science and Technology. I also did my bachelor's in SRM. Uh, from my undergrad, I am working under uh, Dr. Parmi, which has been a great learning experience. With the help of uh, SRM University's semester of grad program and Dr. Parmi, I have applied and offered a position as a research scholar in Kansas State University, USA, with, uh, for one year with the annual stipend support. During my study at SRM, uh, I got a chance to meet uh, Dr. Ramasamy Perumal, professor at Kansas State University, with whom I had a formal interview. Uh, we spoke about uh, all my interest in plant genetics. That happened to be the starting point of this great journey. I came to Kansas State University and I was doing research on sorghum and millet crop breeding where I had gained good knowledge and experience in plant breeding and techniques. I also got a chance here to interact with farmers from United States who used to cultivate on large scale that would be approximately thousands of acres and to discuss with them regarding the plant breeding and genetics. As a part of Kansas State University and my PS research collaboration, I recently came to West Virginia State University to work under Dr. Ramesh Reddy, where I am engaged in ongoing projects here, which is on genotyping the abiotic stress in Arabidopsis plant and another in validating SNPs in disease-resistant watermelon using genomic assays, along with uh, PhDs and grad students here. Doing research abroad under professors with great expertise has been a better learning experience for my career. Apart from all the research and knowledge I've gained here, I'm also able to experience different culture and interact with new people and friends here. And they took me to attend different events from the university. I'm truly grateful to SRM and the Department of Genetic Engineering for all their support and their contribution in building my basic skills and knowledge in research that really helped a lot for a better beginning of my career. Thank you. Thank you all. Hi, uh, my name is Krishnan and I did my semester abroad program at SRM in 2016. Uh, I'll go about a few ways in which the semester abroad program helped me. So, in to give context, there is a thing called a transfer problem in academia where a student has a lot of bookish knowledge and does not know how to apply that bookish knowledge. I did not know that I had this until I did my semester abroad program. 
because that was the first time I was actually doing a project and designing the project plan on my own so you will come to realize really quickly how much your teachers have been helping you in your labs and if you have done projects with them how much they have been helping you design your experiments so that you will get something coherent out of them and when you do a semester abroad program depending on where you go uh, I myself went to Penn State and where I went I did not have as many detailed planning meetings so I was given free reign to design how I was going to go about trying to achieve my goals as in like I had to design my own primer, uh, primers, transformation protocols okay, and testing protocols and how I would get out the results I needed to prove my hypothesis and this is something that we do not learn in our undergrad or I actually don't know who this video is going to so I'll just say undergrad because I did my semester abroad in my undergrad and then uh, you also come to realize really quickly what the difference between what we are doing in labor laboratory practicals is as opposed to a research project and you we had a very infamous saying from Rexer that said 90% of research is desk work and 10% is lab work and I finally understand the meaning of that where you actually have to reflect on yourselves and see what it's pointing to and design your experiments in such a way that you actually get some results and see something that is of interest or I mean that would introduce bias that's a different discussion but then you actually have to think about what experiments you should be doing in order to get the results and not just go about by what your supervisor has told you and actually do the legwork and read papers and those things are I did not come to know how much is required until I did my SAP. So this is how my semester abroad program helped me and it also helped me with troubleshooting. So that is something that we do not do in our lab practicals. We usually get results that we want and we do not reflect on what those results are. But then when you're doing your research project with minimal to moderate supervision and no spoon feeding, uh, you will come to realize that you actually have to troubleshoot your experiments. So if you get ligations that are not working, you have to think about what you have to do and how you can get a more, more a, a better a feasible research where you can screen the number of colonies you get and be able to do it in a short amount of time so that you actually get where you want to be and these are a few ways the semester abroad program helped me the most important way was to experience different fields so i was lucky enough to work with extremophiles plant bioreactors and algal transformations among other things and i also had to learn tig welding and lathe work and actually do those things for plant bioreactor design so depending on where you go you might be really lucky and be at the very uh, forefront of technology and learn new techniques that right now may be uh, not feasible in india due to budget constraints and that is something to think about and yeah that is what i learned during my semester abroad program and it's also a really good chance to meet new people and learn new cultures which is a real important point if you're actually going abroad and all of this depends on whether you are willing to put in the effort and actually integrate with the lab because they are not going to as in most uh, labs are not going to force you to do anything it's up to you to actually involve yourself with what others are doing in the laboratory that you are you may go to so yeah 
see you.